What's up, everybody? It's Kevin here from Happy Beard Games, and today I've got a special presentation, and that is Malibu Mode 7's Blue Crush album for the Sega Dreamcast. Malibu Mode 7 is a vaporwave project that my friend Marcus has been working on since 2018. This version of Malibu Mode 7's Blue Crush album is only playable on your Sega Dreamcast. With Malibu Mode 7 and the Blue Crush album, Marcus used vintage synths, bass guitar a Casio MIDI sax, and a real YM2612 Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis sound chip for some of its source instruments, which makes it a perfect place to be on a Sega console with the Sega Dreamcast. The original release of Blue Crush was on Bogus Collective and produced by Twin Pines Mall. It is currently available as a digital download on Bandcamp. Twin Pines Mall helped with the artwork for all releases, and more recently there has been an audio-only version of Pink Crush, the follow-up to Blue Crush, which I have here on cassette tape. So you probably have a few questions about this album. I'll try to answer a few generic questions right now, such as where did I get it, how did I get it, how was it made, and where can I buy it? Now let's start answering some of those questions with how and where I got this. Now, the creator of Malibu Mode 7, Marcus, has been my friend for a very long time, almost as long as my YouTube channel, Happy Beard Games, has been around for. We actually met through my YouTube channel, but in person. It's kind of a weird coincidence that we ended up living in the same town and then ran into each other, recognizing each other from YouTube. So that was a really cool coincidence, which not only sparked our friendship even more, but also led to a lot of great opportunities for myself and also a lot of helpful things that Marcus has shown me and helped me out with throughout the years. So if you're in the Astoria, Oregon area and you're familiar with Galactic's Astoria, Oregon's premier arcade and tap house, which I've done a video on on my channel, so if you're interested in Galactic's arcade, go check that out. Well, Marcus is the guy that created Galactic's as well as Malibu Mode 7. Now, immediately, I thought that that was a really cool idea for a project to put your music and music videos onto a CD playable only on the Sega Dreamcast is a really cool way to have your music in a retro format, but have it different than vinyl or cassette or CD. So this is a very weird kind of different way to play your music and music videos on a format that is different than CD, vinyl or cassette tape. And remember, this is Vaporwave inspired and Vaporwave style music and music videos together. And it really adds to the right aesthetic of having it on your Sega Dreamcast, your TV. And the Sega Dreamcast has always reminded me of like older computers from like the 90s, such as like your Windows 98, Windows 95, stuff like that. That's what kind of reminds me of the Dreamcast. Even pulling out my Dreamcast today, even though I have it on my shelf, in my room normally. I don't have it set up all the time. So setting up my Dreamcast to my CRT TV today uh, for this video was just kind of nostalgic to me. And once I put in the music, it also added to the nostalgia too. Um, there's something about like the Vaporwave style that really brings back some weird memories that are like, it's nostalgia and it's like, it's vintage and it's like, but it's like in a new way that you've never heard it before. It's like it's like your past memories being remixed is what it feels like. Now with uh, Marcus's Malibu Mode 7 music, it does have a Vaporwave style, a little bit of chip tune in there too. So if you're a gamer, you might really enjoy this too, um, just as like a default thing uh, because of the chip tune sounds, but it's also a nice Vaporwave album too. And it has a very tropical feel to it. You'll notice a lot of like surfing in the videos, uh, bikinis, waves, all that good stuff. I might even hear some tropical sounds too, getting you in the mood. I know summer just ended, but the summer can last all year long with Blue Crush by Malibu Mode 7. To create his music, Marcus uses vintage synths, a bass, a guitar, a Casio MIDI sax, and a real YM2612 Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis sound chip for some of the source instruments which gives it that vaporwave genre sound and chiptune in it too. Now, during the time he was working on Malibu Mode 7 and his first album, Blue Crush, one of his other friends, Ian Backer, worked on a music video for each song. So each song on the Blue Crush album already had a music video that was previously uploaded to Marcus's YouTube channel, Retro Game Players. 
His original plan was to release this as a music video album on a Sega platform, but he couldn't figure out how or which Sega platform, which Sega system, to put it on. Eventually, he found a thread online by Mr. Neo240, who had successfully reverse engineered the Mill CD format, which is used on the Sega Dreamcast console. So he started work on this project for the Sega Dreamcast after that. He also reached out to Mr. Neo240 to help him work and make some more progress on this project. With Mr. Neo240's help, he was back on track with the project, and Marcus told me that it took him over a hundred hours of work trying to get these songs and music videos onto a Sega Dreamcast format. Because the Sega Dreamcast has a limited file size on its disc, it took hours and hours of compressing, changing sizes for video sizes, resolution, stuff like that, and the megabytes of quality for each music video to get them to the right format so they look their best on the Dreamcast disc and also were able to all fit onto a Dreamcast CD. Once he completed the project, the Sega Dreamcast image file was pressed into a Glass Master CD. This is not your CD-R. This is not a burned CD copy. Marcus wanted to make sure that this project was as an official release as possible for the Sega Dreamcast, and so each disc was professionally manufactured. And that's the story of how Malibu Mode 7's Blue Crush album was released and created for the Sega Dreamcast. The release date for this album is October 6, 2023, so it's coming up soon. You can purchase it on malibumode7.bandcamp.com for $25 plus shipping and handling. You can also check out Marcus's booth at Portland Retro Game Expo on October 14th and 15th this year for a reduced price version of the disc, and you can meet Marcus in person there. So you can get it for $20 at PRGE 2023. And all of Marcus's social links for Malibu Mode 7 and his YouTube channel, Retro Game Players, will be in the description box below. Now let's check out some more of what this disc has to offer. So after you put the disc in your Sega Dreamcast and the Dreamcast logo itself loads up, then the album will start. And it starts playing automatically, which is kind of cool if you just want to pop it in and listen to it in one go. Now by pressing the A button, it brings up your typical DVD style HUD which you've got the menu, you've got the play button, the pause button, the back attract button, and the forward attract button, and you've even got a repeat setting. You've got the info button too, which will pop up another HUD menu, which will tell you that you're on video track one. It'll tell you the time of the song or music video that is playing. There's also an internet button, which is kind of strange. It looks like if you have an internet connection, it might do something but I'm not sure what it is because it only brings me to setting up your modem for your Dreamcast. And it was mainly in Japanese, which is a little odd. So I wouldn't recommend clicking on the internet button, but you can go ahead and click on menu, which brings up your uh, video track menu information screen, which also shows little cover photos for each of the tracks on the album. So let's take a look at each of the cover arts for each song on this album. We've got Near the Water, we've got Riptide, then we've got Sea to Shade. Then we've got Ocean Depth. Next we've got Tetrix and Chill, which is my personal favorite song on this album. I even have it on my Spotify playlist for Vaporwave and Synthwave music. The next song is Boardwalk Mist. The one after that is 8-Bit Beach. There's also Stereo Cocktail. Heads Up Display, and Vector Rendezvous. And then it loops back to the very first song on the album, Near the Water. We'll take a little look throughout this video at some of the music videos, and you can just go ahead and choose any song that you like on the album, and then hit the play button on the HUD, and it'll start playing that video file and that music immediately. And you can just watch it or just leave it on in the background as you listen to the music coming out of your TV or your stereo. It's a really cool way to have the full experience of the Blue Crush album in a physical format for your Sega Dreamcast. And because it's on the Sega Dreamcast, that also means that you can play it on the CRT TV, or if you have the right cables for your Dreamcast, you can plug it into your HD TV and enjoy it on multiple setups.
All right, everybody, that's it for looking at Malibu Mode 7's Blue Crush album for the Sega Dreamcast. It was a lot of fun to check this out today, and it was also a lot of fun to check out and find out more about how Marcus created this album for the Sega Dreamcast specifically, with the music and music videos running on an actual Sega Dreamcast. It was very interesting for me to learn how this was put onto a Sega Dreamcast disc and play on a Sega Dreamcast console. It's a very high quality and professionally done CD slash music video for your Sega Dreamcast, and I think it's definitely worth checking out. All right, everybody, thanks for watching Happy Beard Games once again. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned to Happy Beard Games for more classic gaming goodness. And don't forget to check out Marcus's channel, Retro Game Players. The link will be in the description below. Once again, thank you, Marcus, for letting me check out this album ahead of its release date and doing a video on it, too. So thank you, and thank you for watching. All right, everybody. Bye.